These are the people the UN was supposed to protect. They are the Rohingya, one of the most persecuted minorities in the world. In August 2017, more than 700,000 Rohingya fled their homes in Rakhine State in Western Myanmar. The mass exodus happened after Myanmar's military launched an operation in retaliation for the deaths of security personnel. The international community watched as thousands of Rohingya died, women were raped and villages were destroyed. But there were warning signs that the Rohingya were in danger and a new report found that the UN failed to step in in time. The independently commissioned findings show there was a systemic failure of the organization. A major contributor to that problem was a divided approach on how to deal with the country. Myanmar was a burgeoning democracy, coming out of decades of military rule. The nation was being steered by a former Nobel Peace Prize winner, Aung San Suu Kyi. We have never been soft on human rights in this country. Our government has emerged as a, as a body committed to the defense of human rights. Some UN agencies and its officers inside the country wanted to pursue quiet diplomacy with Myanmar's leadership, while others wanted to publicly condemn human rights violations. The report found five key areas that led to failure lack of support from UN member countries, absence of a clear and unified strategy in Myanmar, no clear point of coordination, dysfunctional actions at the country team level, and problems of systematic and unified field analysis from Rakhine State. The investigation also found the person appointed to be the main UN representative in Myanmar, the resident coordinator, didn't have the right experience for the role. Reports sent from that person's office back to headquarters at times played down what was happening on the ground in Rakhine State. On top of this, UN Security Council members were divided on how to address the situation. Even the way the UN is structured and its reporting lines have come under scrutiny. It all points to a divided institution. It's a problem the UN has heard before. It had commissioned a report into its actions in Sri Lanka during the Civil War and had promised to put human rights at the center of everything the UN does. The blueprint on how to respond to what was unfolding in Rakhine State in August 2017 was in place. But the lessons of the past were forgotten. So will this second report make a difference? Or is the fate of the Rohingya set to be repeated? Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers.